analyze and compare this dung data. The game is simple. You'll be confronted with different strands of DNA, each made up of individual tiles. It's your job to place as many of these tiles as possible in their appropriate row while matching the colors. It's not always possible to line everything up perfectly, but that's okay. By playing the game and matching the sequences, you'll also be identifying the errors in our computer analysis and helping scientists across the planet build a better algorithm for the future. And since all this research is open access, the entire scientific community will benefit from it. This research could directly lead to a universal catalog of all known microbes, which could lead to new breakthroughs in food, medicine, exercise, the sky's the limit. And it all starts with you playing a video game. But if the pursuit of knowledge isn't enough of an encouragement to sort through virtual butt microbes, then fear not. Playing Borderlands Science earns you in-game currency you can spend on booster items for your characters. Oh, and this is all totally free. Just activate the Borderlands Science Machine on Sanctuary 3 and sort some gut microbes. Greetings, Fall Hunter! Are you ready to match colored dots to other colored dots? Let me show you how this works. So these colored tiles represent the building blocks of DNA or to simplify, the tiny meat cubes that big meat people are made out of. So if it helps, just imagine those blocks as small, multicolored hunks of steak. It does not. Your goal is to align them with the guidelines on the left. You can push the tiles upward by inserting tokens. Now shove those beautiful meat babies! superiority, I installed a scoring system into this machine. Et voila! If you want to prove you're brainier than Dr. Tannis, make sure you fill that score bar up as much as you possibly can before submitting your score. to beat my top score, however. So, up to now, you've been able to fart around with as many tokens as you want, but now, <laughs> the real challenge begins. See these tokens? These are your reserve tokens. You need to think really hard about where to put them.
What is this warm blood doing? Oh, hey, Maurice. I'm just trying to haul this life-size body pillow of my hero, Axton, back to my bunk, but... Uh, it's so heavy! Not sure why they included the turret. A sleep den must always be made comfortable. You will accept Maurice's help with this task. Really? Thanks so much! You're the best, Maurice. Maurice was helping someone? Nah, that can't be right. There's got to be some dirt somewhere. Find it, Vault Hunter! Distrust for Maurice. This is understandable. Maurice is on a mission of peace, and this is a threat to business. You will bring to Marcus a gift. Warm blood gift giving rituals remain mysterious. Where he comes from, Maurice would simply vomit blood on his skin. Yes, yes. The perfect gift for warmonger Marcus. You will take it to him.
What is this? A present? From Maurice? Ah! Look at the fumes coming off of that box! Get it away! Put it over there! I knew it. That present must have a neurotoxin inside. Or some kind of acid that would melt my face off. Maurice tried to kill me. I knew he was up to no good. Ah, what a relief. <laughs> the last thing I could stand is to have someone nice on board. Ugh. This place only holds together because we all might kill each other at the moment's notice. Thanks for investigating, Vault Hunter. A face-melting success. Warmonger Marcus only respects strength and fears warmth. Though Maurice is here in peace, he knows well the diplomacy of the Claw. You will know Maurice's appreciation. Buy this thing and hold more stuff. You know you want to. But will it be enough? And probably not. I'll kill you! Oh, sorry, I was... <laughs> 